All right, so I've stripped out the iMac completely just because the hinge was broken. And then also it had a whole bunch of wires and antennas and stuff that I didn't need. So I'm going to try and repair the hinge now. And then we'll see if I can plan how I'm going to fit the Raspberry Pi and all the other components into the iMac. I'm probably going to use this foam as a way of stopping any short circuits. And then, yeah. Maybe it's about 3D printing some stuff that would fit in here. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I should have enough space. The screen itself is quite thick, so... Well, yeah, should be good. So I'm attempting to repair this A1225 iMac 2007 hinge. And I believe I need to pull this part, this part back and push this bit forward. And kind of like catching it in there. It's incredibly hard to do, but I'm trying. Alright, so I did it. It was incredibly difficult, but I managed to do it. I managed to pull, basically pull this bit back and this bit forward. And now I believe the hinge is fixed. Strange one, that. So I completely failed. Instead of fixing the hinge, I completely destroyed it. So, either I have to buy a new hinge or try my luck at 3D printing one on here. We'll see how that goes. So I'm running into some issues trying to mount the control board, just trying to get, there's actually hardly any space in the IMAX casing once you mount the screen. And the LVDS cable, this cable here, isn't long enough to extend so that you can hang it at the bottom of the IMAX casing here, which is where all the standard motherboard stuff went before. So I'd either need to get a longer cable, or, which I'm gonna have to wait delivery for, or I can try, which is what I'm doing now and try and mount it behind here, which is not ideal. I don't want to cause any short circuits, which I'm a bit concerned about. So I'm trying to put this on top of it and see how that does. All right, so the screen the screen's mounted on there. I actually have no idea really how successfully it is mounted behind there. I put that piece of foam there, but I don't know if it's moved since. And there's no way of actually knowing. So yeah. Um, this is a difficult one. This Pi Mac was a lot easier to do, but this one is proven very, very difficult. And now I need to get this power supply in this kind of area, along with the Raspberry Pi as well. Not great, not great. Turns out I'm not working totally blind because I can see, and you can see my piece of foam up there, I can see up the DVD drive. So that's, that's okay. So you can kind of see what I'm doing there. There's a fair bit of space that I could utilize. So I've just snipped off a whole bunch of these little plastic things that were used to hold in the motherboard. So that gives me a lot more space now to move. And then what I've done is I've just connected the top two screws in. And then I can actually, and, and obviously not these two or these two, and then I could lift up the screen and I have a bit of play, which is nice. So, let's crack on. One thing I keep on reminding myself is that I'm just a first year electrical engineering student and I don't actually know what I'm doing. You know, I'm learning by trial and error. And I just stuck this power supply underneath here, but then I realized something was blocking it. So I, I put my hand up to feel it and I realized the inverter for the screen is here. So that's probably not the best place to stick a power supply. So I'm going to try and stick it on this side instead. Good thing I didn't turn it on. Okay, so I can't actually fit the power supply underneath here. There's not anywhere big enough in the max body for the heatsink. So I'm currently Googling, can I remove the heatsink from the power supply? I get that that's probably going to be a bad idea. And also, I feel like I'm probably going to be more likely to short circuit something in there. But it seems a little bit crazy that this is the power supply for the screen and yet it won't fit in the iMac case. I get that it's a third party one, but what? Not a very good third party if their power supply is too big. The only other thing would be to mount it externally on the back, but man, that's going to look ugly. Yeah, don't know what I'm doing yet. Okay, so I'm currently cutting away some of these clips in the bottom right of the iMac so hopefully I can I've cut away quite a few now 
So hopefully I'll be able to fit the power supply in. It's going to be a tight, tight squeeze. I need to obviously avoid putting the power supply near the chassis because obviously that's going to conduct. Unless I could wrap it, but I don't think that's a good idea. Um, there's not really anywhere else suitable. The Aramac doesn't really curve that much at all. So tight space is very, very tight for this big chunky pass flow. Hey, hey, hey. So I've managed to find a decent location for the power supply. Pretty much the only place it seems like it could go is here. It seems like that is the deepest part of the iMac. And then also it's got these metal uh, bolt things I've seen for mounting either a hard drive or motherboard or whatever. And that seems like it's about level with the heat sinks. So I'm hoping that will close and I've just put some electrical tape across it to hold it in there. And then I've done the same in the control module. So yeah, it's, um, it's challenging. I've put the power supply, the power cable connector, that one there, just like the original Mac. So that's, that's, that's good there. My hinge is still broken, obviously, so I'm going to need to 3D print something to fix that. And then, yeah, I'm going to now try and test to see if the screen will actually go on there with the power supply like that. And then I need to think about short circuits and stuff like that and making sure I'm not shorting anything. It's challenging. This is a very interesting challenge. A very interesting challenge, I should say. All right, so forgive me for being a bit mute, but it's on there. The screen is on. I've mounted it. Let's see if I can show you properly. It looks really nice. I mean, it does, but the power supply is like it's 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 not bulging or anything. Like it's not, but I don't know how to explain it. It's def it's not flush at all. It kind of feels like the screen's being pushed up, and I'm. Terribly, terribly concerned about short circuits. I haven't obviously turned it on yet. But the power supply and the control module are a fair, fair bit expensive. I think it amounts to like 50, 60 quid for the pair of them. So I don't really want to burn it out. And if I, and if I do burn it out, then this that will probably be the end of this project. So yeah, turning it on is going to be painful, exciting. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so I stupidly forgot to attach my VGA cable or my HDMI cable from the control module to the Raspberry Pi. So I need to take this back off and do it again. Okay, so I've mounted the Pi down here just for easy access, connected everything up, and I'm really scared to plug it in. I'm going to stick the case on and then I'll plug it in and see if it explodes. And there's the final product before I've turned it on. I haven't actually bought the glass case that goes around it yet. That That's 20, 25 quid on eBay. So before I buy that, I make sure I don't explode this. So I'm super not confident that this is going to turn on. But it's currently 3 a.m. And I figured, you know what? Let's round off tonight either with a bang or with a bang. So either it blows up and sparks out to fly or it works. So... I suppose either one. I'm excited. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, screen's on. Oh, guess what? <laughs> I did not turn on the Raspberry Pi because obviously the Raspberry Pi isn't connected to the monitor inside, obviously. So... Raspberry Pi now on. Oh wow, look at that. Just trying to see if I can hear any sparks and stuff flying. Wow, that screen's big. That's nice. Well, would you look at that? It is working well. That looks beautiful.
Yeah, it looks it's nice. Very responsive. Obviously, it would be. It's just a Raspberry Pi, isn't it? So the hinge is obviously broken, as you can see. It just go backwards. But that's beautiful. I'm super happy with that. Yes, that is a win. That is a big, big win for me. Very, very happy with that. And internet appears to be working fine as well. It says I'm connected. I connected via Ethernet port. So, yeah. Happy with that. Let's see if my GitHub works. Nice. Wow, look at that screen, man. That is beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah? Okay. So a few concerns are, would this casing stay on? Seems like it will. And then I just need to buy the, the, the LCD glass cover thing. And that's it. That's going to look amazing. I'm very happy with that. Yeah? I think just for that, leave a like. Happy with that. Alright. I shall order the light casing, uh, the LCD casing now. And then hopefully I'll see you guys in a few days. Peace.